not many people use here we go these days but it still is one of the best navigation apps in this video we'll learn to use it so let us begin the basic setup is enabling the notifications and then the location permission then enable the traffic data to find the best routes we can share our usage data with here to improve their services last is the offline maps option you can download maps now or later we'll download them now choose your region and then your country if it has maps for each state you can download them for yours only or you can download the whole country from the top i will download south australia for now in the meantime let's go back this is its interface the green dot is you facing towards your phone's direction. Pinch to zoom in and out. Traffic data is enabled so we see traffic on the roads. Red means heavy traffic and yellow means medium traffic. You'll also see roadworks and stuff on the map. To go back to your location, tap this icon. Tap it again for more views. Here we go has a satellite view and with this you'll see the world as it appears from the top. We can enable the public transport mode which shows the public transport routes. For some reason it's only showing the train route in my region. Pretty much everything is in this bottom section. Swipe up to see the options. We can add home and other places and then collections. Collections are a way to organize your trips. You can create a new collection and add places. It's a perfect way to organize your trip to a different city or country. We can use maps offline and download them from here. You can also create a profile to sync your data across devices. All the settings are on this screen. Set your fuel type says you'll see prices while searching for fuel stations. Then the app theme can be changed to auto or light. Next are units that are automatically set. Route preferences is where we find the vehicle options. In the car you can choose the shortest or fastest route. Read out to a better path, set a maximum car speed and avoid stuff that is hard and confusing. In other modes, you'll find relevant options. Here we go shows a trip progress bar while navigating, but you can turn it off. Other settings such as speed limit alerts, voice and languages are below. Tap this field to look up something. We have some quick categories. Let's say I pick fuel station. We get to see the fuel prices that are updated regularly. This is the full search list. Close it to see all of them on the map. Tapping one will open it with more details. We'll see if it's open now, their number and category. If you search for a specific place, it will show that location. To go there, tap directions. The car trip is picked, so swipe up to see all the routes from best to worst. Tab 1 to explore it. Depending on your area, you'll find other options. Public transport also has all the possible ways. It shows the current time, but uh, you can change the time and set leave at or arrive by. Click 1 to see the step by step trip. Walking, cycling, and motorcycling are here too. Tap route preferences to open the same navigation settings. We'll pick the quickest route and start the trip. This is how it looks. All you gotta do is follow the blue path to get there. You can take a different route and it will automatically adjust. The top shows the next turn distance and turn direction. The bottom section displays the trip progress including traffic, arrival time, total trip time and distance. Swipe up to see other options. You can quickly switch the theme, add a stop, enable offline mode and more. Let's add a stop. I will find something and the app will locate it for me. Then we need to tap on it and then the add button. Now the trip has been adjusted. You can remove this top from the overview section further down. Another thing here we go does well is showing the important signs. I don't think any other app does that. We have a stop sign coming up and the app is displaying it here. Furthermore lane assistant shows the total lanes on the road and which lane you should be on. This helps when there is a quick left or right turn after making a turn. The traffic data is updated frequently but I've noticed that it is sometimes hard to see where to go because of the color combinations. For example here we need to turn right but if you look closely you'll see a yellow line going straight. 
I don't know what it is, but it can be confusing sometimes if the voice guidance is off. Anyway, the yellow traffic is medium and the red traffic is heavy. Also, you'll notice the speed limit and your car speed. This is another feature worth talking about. The speed shown is about 1 to 2 kilometers less than the actual speed. And when you cross the speed limit, it makes a sound and turns the speed color red. The next prominent feature is the speed camera. When a speed camera is ahead, you'll see it on the screen. Also, the app makes a sound to notify you. Here we go has more speed camera data than Google Maps. So if this is something you need, this app is for you. When you arrive at your destination, it will tell you which side the place is. After arriving, you can save your parking spot by clicking this button. On the top is the trip information. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Take care.